guys, it's Mike, and I'm just doing a follow-up review for the PEI self-adhesive sheets that uh, CS Hyde Manufacturing actually sent me as a sample just for review. Um, the big difference here is both these sheets look exactly identical. I mean, there's no real difference except for the type of adhesive they used on the back of them. And in my previous video, I explained that I thought one of them, I misspoke, I said that they, one was laminated, one was unlaminated. What I really meant to say was one was adhesive and I didn't think the other one was. It just had this white backing on it. Um, the deal is that they actually sent them and I had to email them to get a good explanation. Um, the 10, the 36-10S-3D was actually um, adhesive backed with silicone adhesive, whereas the 36-10A-3D was backed with an acrylic adhesive. Now that doesn't make a ton of difference to me right now because I put both of these on sheets of Lexan polycarbonate, so it stuck really well both times. But that might make a difference to someone using, like, say, borosilicate glass or like straight uh, aluminum beds. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, here they are again. And like I said, I stuck them to Lexan and um, I tried to get it as clean as possible, but obviously I didn't do a perfect job. Um, here's the other one. The other one looks a little better. No lie. Um, what I do want to say though is um, I really like these and I'm hoping that the rest of the video you kind of get the idea of why I like them. Um, it makes for a great combination and I really think that it, these will last quite a long time. So if you're looking for something longevity wise, um, this might be the product for you. I still don't know if CS Hyde has actually put these out to sell yet, but you can definitely uh, look them up through the link I'm going to put in the description and uh, just ask them how much they're asking for them. I know that they're going to cut them to length for you, so that's a good deal. Anyway, let's get on with the review, and we'll just so take it from there. This is result number one from the torture test. Um, this is the iPhone 4 Geneva Gears uh, plan that is on Thingiverse. Uh, this is the actual case assembly for it. Now, I know this isn't a fantastic torture test because, yes, I did originally plan for this to be on um, either Lexan, just flat out Lexan, or um, Blue Painter's Tape, because I do have a brim around it. But as of right now, I think it's actually working okay, out Okay, so this is the first print that came off. You don't need to bother uh, pointing out that my retraction settings need to be bumped up. I got that. Don't worry. But, um, yeah, everything is flat as a board. That's fantastic. Now, I put this on a piece of Lexan, which is my usual go-to for printing out PLA. Um, I'm just going to put it down real quick and see if I can pick off some of the outer edge. That came off okay. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because I'm using natural PLA, but that came off nice and clean. Now, the big question is, how easy does this come off? One of the nice things about printing on Lexan is if you do have a large thing like this, you can flex it off. So, let me see. I hate to do this, but i got to put down the phone so I can actually um, see if that will pop off the way I'm used to. So, hang on a second. Try to do this while it's in shot. I Bam. All right, I don't know if the camera actually caught that, but that popped right off the build plate. That was like, bam, super clean. Um, all right, this is a big thumbs up for this project. Uh, I'm gonna try a, another stress test here in a minute by printing out some of the smaller gears for this guy. Torture test number two, the gears, or at least the small gears for that particular camera case, or phone case, blah. Um, looking pretty good, looking pretty tight right there. I'm going to see if they're just as easy to pull off. Now, one thing I'm going to say is the first time I did this, let me put this down for a second, this gear lifted off the build plate a little bit along these teeth. Uh, and that was using PLA-PHA. 
so uh, everything feels like it's nice and tight down towards the bottom. Uh, how easy do these to come off? Let's see. Popped right off. And the quality looks okay, so pretty good. Trial three of the torture tests. It looks like the Geneva gear from this design curled up a little bit. But admittedly, I have not been cleaning it off with alcohol after every print. So um, it's not really important for me to do this part again. Um, I already did it with PLA PHA. So uh, I'll do some trials tomorrow. I'm going to shut it down for tonight. I'll put it all in one big video. Slow build, but it was my check with PLA PHA. Guys, I'm sorry, I, I do have to apologize because I don't have a heated build plate, so I wasn't about to check this out with ABS or anything like that, but then again, I've got no interest in going with ABS, um, I don't want to deal with the fumes or anything like that since I have this in my house. But as you can see, PLA PHA uh, sticks just as well, if not better than the other stuff which you know so really it. and just to let you know this is like the fourth take i've done and i'm not a youtube professional so that should be well known by now um a couple things to consider here i did i'm definitely giving this a thumbs up um the stuff is great to work with now a couple of key things that i didn't mention earlier in the video and these are kind of important number one what's so great about this product uh it's PEI with an adhesive back. So that means anybody who's been a fan of PEI or is really looking forward to even trying it, it takes one step out of the equation by putting an adhesive backing straight on it so you don't have to mess around with 3M tape and hope for the best. Number two, and this is actually a little more important in my head, um, this was all done on a cold bed. I mean, there's no way for me to get a heated bed on the Neo without jacking around with the firmware or doing something external. Um, I haven't done the external thing yet, and I'm not going to mess around with the firmware on the machine. So, guys with cold beds, be happy. PEI works great for PLA and PLA PHA. I'm going to do a little more testing, um, but I wanted to get this video out, and I haven't ordered in any PETG yet. That's going to be my next move, or TPU. Um, that's going to be a little further down the line, but I definitely want to get this video out so the guys at CS Hyde know how appreciative I am of what they did and what they're trying to do. Um, <clears throat> anybody who's interested in this, like I said before, they actually tailor cut to my specifications. So I told them I had a 150 millimeter bed. They cut me 150 millimeter square sheets of it, both in acrylic adhesive and silicone adhesive. Um, works great. One last thing to consider, they didn't actually include any instructions for application of the material. So when I did my first sheet, um, what I did was I just assumed it was the same thing as kind of like a build tack sheet where they just tell you to clean everything up and then just lay it down. Uh, this is a little different. Um, I did that the first time and I got a couple of micro air bubbles. Not a deal breaker. It didn't really hurt anything I tried to do. Um, the second one I did, I actually used the window uh, window sticker application method where I would actually spray down with Windex the uh, adhesive backing on the second sheet and after cleaning off uh, the bed that I wanted to put it on with that Windex still wet on the adhesive, I put that on the sheet, on the or I put that on the bed rather and then I used a credit card to squeegee out the Windex, so that way there's less chance of air bubbles, and that actually worked out a lot better. So a quick note to CS Hyde, next time you actually put this out, you may want to try and like throw in some universal application directions. Um, it might help. Um, I know it's going to be kind of tricky to do. But anyway, giving it a big thumbs up, I'm going to put the link to CS Hyde in the description of this video. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to try and get more content out in the future. Thanks.